Hello and welcome back to another Stay Healthy and Race Less virtual class. Hi, my name is Anna and I am a registered dietitian uh, in this pantry. Just a reminder, if you are a resident of San Mateo County, please fill out our online form so you can earn your Bedger X vouchers. This is money you can use to buy fruits and vegetables and herbs at farmer's markets. Some farmer's markets are still open, so please check your county and support your local growers. These also never expire, so you can use them whenever you want. After you fill out your form, we'll mail the vouchers and also be sending you a voucher guide that explains more about how to use them and also lists all the farmer's markets that accept the vouchers. Today is Earth Day! Woo! Earth Day! And a great way to celebrate and show love to our planet is to reduce food waste. The theme of today's class is expiration dates. So let's head in my kitchen and see what food I can save today. Okay, so I looked through my fridge and I found a few things and I decided to make French toast. I found a carton of eggs that have a sell-by date of so this is April 16th. That was last week. A carton of half and half of a sell-by date of April 17th. So that was also last week. Foods that have a printed sell-by date or best if used by or best before date are still potentially safe to eat. The dates on most packaged foods relate to the quality and flavor, not necessarily the safety. So eggs are good for four to five weeks past their sell-by date. So I can still use these up till uh, next month. I've actually been using these eggs and they are just fine. Pasteurized milk is good for up to one week past its sell-by date. You can also keep your milk frozen up until three months. Yes, you can freeze milk. You can freeze almost anything. I recommend using your frozen milk for baking or cooking. If milk is frozen for too long, it can separate and also develop a grainy texture. So, not so great for your morning cereal. Uh, butter. Butter is good for two to three months uh, past its sell-by date. And you can also freeze this too uh, for up to nine months to about a year. There are dates that you should pay attention to and follow. And those are the ones on baby formula, medicines, and vitamins. Those products lose nutrients or are not as effective over time, so it's best not to use them past its printed date. I also found some strawberries. Now, I know strawberries don't have an expiration date, but they were looking kind of soft and mushy. Uh, berries tend to go moldy uh, pretty quick, so I do want to use them up. So I think I'm going to make a fruit compote with my French toast. This French toast recipe is found on eatfresh.org. I'll put the link in the description. I am modifying some of the ingredients depending on what I have in my kitchen. The recipe calls for bread. French toast is an excellent way to use up your old or stale bread. In France, they call it a pain perdu. Uh, excuse my bad French accent. That means lost bread because it uses up old bread that has lost its flavor and quality, but has been revived and transformed into French toast. You can use a variety of different breads. You can use Texas toast, which is uh, a lot thicker. You can use sourdough. You can use brioche. You can use leftover challah bread, which is a kosher loaf of braided bread. Our executive director, Adrian, says her family uses leftover hamburger buns from a barbecue. <laughs> this recipe also calls for eggs and egg whites. I don't like wasting the yolks, so I'm going to just use whole eggs. Because I don't like to waste the egg yolk for three reasons. One, it promotes food waste. Two, the yolk holds more of the nutrients compared to the egg whites. Like calcium and vitamin D for strong bones. It has vitamin A to protect our vision and support our immune system to help us fight against infection, which is really important right now, and it also has a little bit of protein. It also calls for milk. Uh, I'm going to splash a little bit of half and half in there. French toast is also a great way to use up milk that is about to go bad or about to go sour, which can act like buttermilk. You can also use this for waffles or pancakes or biscuits or a frittata. Check out our friend's Fresh Approach. 
they recently made a class demonstrating how to use up vegetables in a frittata. The recipe also calls for orange juice. I don't have orange juice. So vanilla extract, uh, cinnamon, non-stick cooking spray, or you can use butter, like me, maple syrup, or sweetener of your choice. I have a little bit of honey and berries. I have some fresh strawberries that are not so great raw, but I think this will cook down into a really nice compote. What is compote exactly? Compote is just a simple sauce that is made with fresh or frozen fruit and uh, sugar or sweetener of your choice. It's kind of like a chunky fruit syrup. I'm going to use that as a topping for my French toast. Berries are in season right now, so if you ever have extra, you can always cook them and make them into a compote. I also have a berry chia jam recipe I'll put in the description. You can make it into a jam, or you can also freeze some so you can use it for later. You can also use another type of berry for this recipe, or you can use other fruits like apples or pears. Okay, the first step is to slice the bergamot. I sliced it diagonally because I like the shape of triangles. Next, we'll make the egg mixture. I recommend cracking eggs that are past the sell-by date one by one just to make sure that they're still okay and safe to eat. I just cracked one that didn't look so good. So I'm glad I didn't add it into anything yet. Once you have all your ingredients in there, just beat it up with a fork or a whisk. Mmm, I love the smell. And now the fun part. You can also use your hands, but I wash my hands so frequently these days, I just want to break. Okay, they're all soaked up and ready to go. Make sure when you're soaking your bread into your mixture to gently shake off any extra liquid. You don't want it to be too soggy. I'll do a little test to see if it's ready. So I hear a little sizzle. Yes. So one way to tell when it's ready to flip is the bubbles, they become a little bit smaller when it's about done. Or you can just take a little sneak peek and see if it's brown. So while you are waiting for your French toast to cook, you can cook your fruit compote. Put a little dash of honey in there. Let's flip it to see if these are ready. Ooh, it looks like French toast. You can also use a spatula. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not using a spatula. Here we go. <laughs> French toast is looking good. My fruit compote's also looking good. One thing I should warn you about also is the incredible smell. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing in here. I wish you could smell this. Yummy, smells like brunchy. Mmm, it's ready. Bon appetit. All right, let's dig in. No, this is delicious. I'll never have to order French toast again. I've been having brunch takeout and I've been always ordering French toast, but I don't have to order it anymore. I can just make it myself. You don't have to make fruit compote. The possibilities for toppings on French toast are endless. You can use just butter and maple syrup. You go with other fruit. You can use sliced bananas, peanut butter, honey. Make it savory and use cheese and tomato sauce. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you understand a little bit more about expiration dates and think twice before throwing away those expired foods. Tune in our next class with my friend Leah this Friday, April 24th at noon. She will be showing us how to make a simple meal using the microwave. We're planning two more classes next week, Wednesday and Friday at noon, so please stay connected so you're up to date. Just a helpful reminder for the residents of San Mateo County, please don't forget to fill out our online form so you can receive your vouchers and your voucher guide. Until next time, stay healthy and waste less, and happy Earth Day! Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> that is my favorite fruit.